Well, here we have a brief introduction to the Ford Duetto Auto Sleeper. It's converted by Auto Sleeper directly from new from the factory from Ford. And these were made in Slough in Berkshire originally. I think now production has moved abroad out over to Turkey, I believe. But certainly, it's a lovely van made in this country, made in Britain, and converted from new by Auto Sleeper in Worcestershire. It's a two berth van. They do do other ones, but this is the Ford Transit complete conversion here. As you can see, the professional conversion, high top. And you can see the Auto Sleeper coach works as well here. Having a look inside this one. This is 1999. Originally started making these in 1994. The facelift was about 1996-97, which this is the facelift, the Smiley's face they call this. Well, this one's done 59,000 miles, very low mileage for a year, but these only normally do about 2,000 miles a year. This one's done about 1,500 to 2,000. Can be a few more if you've gone abroad, perhaps. Got the period Ford radio, but just say there is a Sony radio to go in as well, but certainly it uh, doesn't really make much difference. Um, it's got the sound system as well, which has been uh, customized by Auto Sleeper, the normal fashion, where they put the speaker at the back here. This is the, the cabin. Lovely coach works on upholstery here. You can see got the lighting, got the cupboards. Got the compass there, and we've got the uh, down there, and we've also got the uh, clock hub here and the uh, the weather clock there. Now, just to, sh to have a quick look in here, the overhead stowage here. Now, some of them do have a child berth up here, but this one's just a storage area. Well, there we are. These have been bought by somebody at some time and left here to uh, for the next owner. Grip mats, there we are. That's in case you get stuck in snow. I think it's at the table there. And that's for the, the awning. But certainly, they don't get used that much. Don't think they do get used that much, not in this country. Perhaps on sites, etc. But depends on the weather, of course, which isn't always very good in this country. There we are. Now, lovely upholstery here. There's a spare cushion there. Now, that seat, although I've never done it, does come round. Another quirky addition by Auto Sleeper here. Lovely seats, as you can see. Then, obviously, it's totally reworked from a Ford Transit. It's total. It's totally. Uh, Fitted out with the coach works and luxury features, which you wouldn't get in the standard van, which is why, of course, these are thought after with auto sleep. But have a look at this here. We have a safe here. That's a safe for any belongings, which I don't think most people use. Got the behind the seat stowage there. Lights, some people put extra lights in as well. And you've got for the cupboard spaces here, sockets, I think that's for a television. But of course, you have a, got to have a 12 volt television. And uh, the problem is the Freeview box is a bit of a nuisance because you can't normally get Freeview boxes, so you'd have to buy a specific television, cost more. There we are, my cupboards here. All the storage space for your tea bags, etc. A few packs of biscuits to take with you on the journey, or perhaps a few tins, etc. Bottle spaces there as well. You can also hold things, tie things up there, keep it in place, bottles, etc. Vanity mirror there as well. Another so we go now. Also, we have we have for the cupboard here. Nice cupboard there. Good quality here by Auto Sleeper. Now we've got a few more cushions there, the table there as well. Nice cushion there. And the toilet shower room, 
washing facilities here. Well, there we are. The Imperial Leather there as well. Shower there. Vanity unit there. Light there as well. Got the switches and all here. There we are, the lights on there. Now, just say the sink here. There we are, washing your hands, etc. I don't think these get you that much. Perhaps on a site they do, although the sites do have facilities. Uh, so you fill the tank up basically. Um, there's an inflow and outflow. So you've got two tanks one's inflow, one's outflow. Now wash your hands, whatever else you want to do. Wash your face, and then you just put that up there and it goes down through. It doesn't really matter if any good thing goes on the floor there because it's got the shower. Uh, got the drainage there as well. Toilet, well, that's all very clean. This goes into a separate tank. Um, as you can see, step foot port a pot there as well. There we are, it's all there, all clean and tidy there. So the flush is there, and the toilet all goes in there. Got the shower curtain there. There we are. You got the two windows as well. Looking across, there is the, the cooker here, and that comes up. Basically, that comes up there and holds the cooker up. So, you've got the cooker, the grill facility there, all the pot the pans there. You can put your knives and forks in here as well. And just moving along, there's a sink here. Just fill the tank of water. Well, you don't need to do that full, certainly. You clip that back, you lift that up, and then you've got your sink there. Uh, for the um, there we are for, for washing up, but uh, although the water can be is drinkable, it's often advised not to be without certainly uh, from the tank, it's not advisable. You can actually get these sort of five litre bottles or bigger. Bigger storage tanks for, for your own drinking water, but other than that, you've got here fridge. Can be used on 24 volt if you're on the site, which I don't think most people, many people don't. Um, that's off there. Um, certainly, that's off. Uh, or else it can be used on the gas, which most people would do. I think they sometimes get knocked, but. Uh, that's off. We've got the switches, the various switches here. And basically to light, to, to use the fridge, you switch that on, you turn the gas on at the, the bottle, so when it's like that, flashing, you turn the gas on the bottle, and then you ignite it. After the gas is on by, it's this one here, which and that gets pressed in to light the gas. Um, but that's, that's how that one works, and this is the controls if you're using. I think that you can use the leisure battery just for a short period of time, but it's not advisable and doesn't, uh, it won't keep you cool that long, so you use the, the gas. But you don't turn it on when you're in transit. All the gas turned off. By law, you've got the cupboards here. Got the gas as well, all the controls for the gas and gas. Fittings, including the cooker, etc., down there. It's all down there. That'll just switch all switched off at the source for safety, of course. Have the lovely upholstery here. And roof lights here as well for the Ford Auto Sleeper here. And another quirky thing I'll just show you because we've got a lady who wants to sleep in the van or wife or whatever you want to give her own space she wants to undress you just pull push that back she has her own privacy although in my case i'd probably leave the van and walk over a walk let her if i if it was certainly me but and that can create some privacy for the lady or of course the man if necessary so you just close that back there so auto sleeper, think of everything here, including that onboard safe down there. And the lights all round. And 
you can add some other things if you want to. Certainly some people do put extra lights in, but uh, it's personal preference really. Certainly long lasting, this one's 20, 20 years old. There are others about 24, 25 years old. And they're well worth it. They're a very versatile vehicle. Now just to show you what is in the drawers, extra storage down here, there's a table there. And also, just to say, there's a bit of rope there for that stuff. The other table, one stream wiper there, spare number plate as well there, because this one's got a tow hitch, which is, tow, tow, tow hitch is not standard. So that is something else that's been put on. Possibly not by all sleeper, but perhaps somebody had a trailer to carry any excess luggage. And if we go down here, another drawer there. And another cupboard this side. Ah, now this, this one here. Got the 24 volt link up cables they have the power inverter cables here so that would be normally be used if at all i think this has already been used but will be used on a site there's also a seat belt here which the mot man will check and um, which comes out and will be used if you have a child on board so if, if you wanted to have a if you had a child in the back they must wear a seat belt sometimes the storage that can be stored in there but normally, if it's going to be used, it come out, put it out on there, and the plug's in as usual on the other side. This is for a television, I do believe, but you do need a 12 volt television. Of course, it's not so good if you haven't got the three view box and you buy an old television because you'd need to link it up. I suggest having a walk and listen to the radio and perhaps. Go out for fish and chips and takeaways and see the scenery, but I know some people can't uh, avoid their fix of uh, news and soaps, but best to probably get away, clear your mind of all that and enjoy yourself. But there we are. So this is the auto sleeper conversion. There we are. Car heating here. Also got these blinds here. Now they can be closed. Now they actually just close like that. For, for night use. It's exactly the same with the other ones here. Lift it up like that. Just clip on and then they're shut for the night. Same that side, also siding window. These ones can be open. Obviously if it's a hot night, then you can open those windows as well.